For those who know me well, there's one brand that I've been using since my very first day as a professional. And you saw the title, it is indeed a camera bag brand. Today, I want to show you one of my favorites and one of Billingham's latest Hatley range, the Hatley Pro 2020 in their latest navy colorway. Let's hit it. Before I start, let's revisit my history with Billings Hatley range. Like many well-known photographers, past and present have been using Billingham camera bags for decades. They've been proven to be one of the toughest and reliable around. I have a lot of stories to tell when it comes to Billingham bags too. My very first was the Hatley Small that I bought 20 years ago. It traveled with me all around the world. Witnessed my transition from film to digital, from amateur to professional. That bag saw everything. Even got run over by a car and heavily scarred as a result, including a couple of holes to the front of the bag. Unfortunately though, apart from one of my lens hoods, everything survived. I'm not suggesting that you can let a car run over your billing in, or it will protect your gear to that extent. It would be a combination of things of course, but just to tell that Billingham is a functional and protective bag for your camera gear. But that very Hadley Small was stolen from me about 5 years ago, and I was pretty sad about it. Because, well, as you can see, I had a lot of memories with it. And even when I expanded my collection since, it remained one of my favorite of all. I then bought a new Hetley, but this time the larger brother, the Hetley Pro, which is more appropriate for me if I want to take it to work. It's smarter with a handle on the top. The wider and deeper main compartments allows me to put a DSLR with one Pro zoom attached and squeeze in a prime if I need. So it's enough for my day shoot. But like a lot of growing pros, our jobs get bigger, we need more gear. So soon, I outgrew what the Hatley Pro could fit. So again, I got another Hatley, but this time, the then new and larger Hatley 1, which is now my drone bag. The Hatley 1 could easily swallow my 15-inch MacBook Pro, a camera with a few lenses, plus a lot, and I mean quite a few accessories. You can almost fit a small mobile studio in it. From the outside, the 1 looks pretty much the same as any other Hatleys in the range, just a bit larger. But it has a few new tricks, one of the more obvious additions was the removable shoulder straps and the luggage surely retainer strap at the back. It was a first for Billingham, and the one, <laughs> I mean the one, led the way for all new Billingham designs. So when I switched from DSLR to mirrorless a few years back, I moved back to Hadley Pro, which allows me to be more agile on the street and at location. But Billingham released the new Hadley Pro 2020 in 2019. Yeah, it, it's kind of confusing because the Designation 2020 didn't really mean that it's a year 2020 model, it's just a number. And since I like the new features on the Hadley 1 and I really wanted them on my Hadley Pro, so I got the new Pro 2020 in red and took it to Spain for a job. And this year, and finally it's 2020, matches the number, I got another one in the new navy colour. And that's more a personal preference than anything, since I'm a denim nut if you don't know, then the navy really matches them well. And yeah. Less obvious if I really want to be a ninja on the street. Jokes aside, let's have a look at the design of Hadley Pro 2020. As described earlier, it's basically a Hadley Pro with Hadley 1's new and better features. The bag's external dimension is 43cm wide, 16cm deep and 28cm tall. It's highly big. So it's a very smart companion and won't make you look like a geek on the street, which is good. The internal dimension is 34cm wide, 8cm deep and 21cm tall. Okay, that doesn't really mean anything. Why? Well, like all material camera bags, it's a little deceiving when it comes to how much it can swallow and don't worry about it and I will show you later. As mentioned, the 2020 has a removable shoulder strap, a trolley retainer strap and a zipper pocket at the back that fits A4 papers. There are also two thumb pockets with push button at the front, which is a signature of Hadley bags. The top cover is secured via two leather strap over brass clock balls. You can also expand the 2020's capacity by adding two side end pockets if you wish. It's compatible with Avia 7 and 8. Together, you really can carry a lot of stuff with you, and you are only limited to what your physical condition allows.
Well, like I said earlier, I switched to compact system cameras, more specifically Olympus Micro Four Thirds. So Headley Pro 2020 is the perfect system back for me. I can easily take my Pro system out, which usually consists of one EM1 Mark III with 17 1.2 Pro attached, the 42-150 Pro on one side, and more lenses on the other, which can either be another long lens or two primes, like the 25 1.2 Pro and the 45 1.8 or I will have two bodies with two lenses attached for my street shooting. So this is plenty for my type of photography and more than enough for any travel occasions to be honest. If you need more, like I said, you can add the end pockets to make the carry system even larger. The front dumb pockets can easily fit your mobile, wallet, batteries, lens cloths, suites, anything really. The little gap between the back panel and padded insert can easily fit a standard size tablet or a squeeze with a larger one if you have a smaller camera body. One thing that not many people know or it just doesn't appear to be is that all billing and products are completely rainproof without the need of any dedicated rain covers. All thanks to this special water impermeable rubber layer called Butyl and a manufacturing process that bonded with an external and internal layers together. And I'm telling you, none of my billings ever give in to any rain, even when it's a downpour. In terms of weight capacity, well, this bag is tough and strong, and I don't think it's a concern. You can literally fill the bag with lead to the point that you can't lift it anymore, and the bag still won't break. Okay, I don't have any scientific proof of that, but I did once transported my old portable studio in my Billingham 445, which weighed in at 25 kg from London to Canada. And I'm telling you, I was struggling to carry it on my shoulder. That said, you shouldn't need to worry about anything in terms of performance of your Billingham. Even if you have a problem, the friendly peeps at Billingham is always there to help, regardless of age or condition of your bag. Billingham is not just a normal camera bag, it's a durable, lifelong companion that follows your photographic journey. All material used in the bags are designed to last a lifetime, well, unless you get one over by a car. The real full grain leather components are nice and thick. All buckles and studs are made of brass or chrome, depends on the color scheme of your choice. Internal pads are thick with soft finish to avoid damaging your equipment, and zips are of the highest quality you can get. You also get a choice of external materials these days, from traditional cotton-based canvas to modern and lighter fibonite. There's practically no difference in performance and durability. But if you like adventurous colors, they're usually made with canvas, just because cotton fibers are easier to dye. So this Navy 2020 is a cotton canvas bag. As far as material is concerned, this is first class. Of course, there are thousands of great bags out there, from high-tech designs to bags with more subtle and traditional approach like the Billingham. I'm rating this bag for what it is. And yes, even though I may be just a little biased towards this English bag, I would like to reiterate that there is no such thing as a perfect camera bag. I've been in search for one ever since I picked up my first camera. However, there are bags just like your favorite cameras that just connect with you, both functionally and emotionally. And Billingham Headless Pro 2020 is such bag, feels natural to me as a photographer. And like a great partner, it will follow you faithfully, reliably, and allow you to trust it to do whatever it does best, carrying your kit, protect them, and keep them dry. And that's what I need for my camera bag to do. For me, the Headless Pro 2020 is a five-star bag, and I would recommend it to any budding photographers who are demanding and want a bag that will last a lifetime. That's it folks, I hope you enjoyed this video and you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to support this channel and me. Peace. <laughs>